Hello my soccer universe, and now the Austrian Bundesliga is back as well. Wearing a last jersey, but again, not a win, although it was kind of a weird one to be honest. Um, yeah, 2-2 two -two draw, we'll talk about it. I don't think last will necessarily uh, level with Klagenfurt, but yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. We had actually quite a bunch of uh, six-pointers, or you know, a high-stakes game. We had 1v2. Salzburg against Sturm uh, that I actually uh, made a real point of watching because uh, it's, it was definitely an interesting game. We had a whole lot of big results in the fight for the top six places, which we already said is a dual Vienna against Kärnten. And the Vienna teams really got big results there. And then we had another one uh, on the bottom of, of the table with 11th against 12th. So the two bottom teams going uh, and lose now, maybe sign of life, maybe sign of life. We will see about that too. Yeah. And can I just say, I'm so happy that going back to the stadium, but having two games in early February in really odd conditions, uh, you know, uh, cold and the wind blowing at you. I mean, I got a cold, of course, or, or, or the weather out there as well. February in Austria is not soccer time. It is just not. I'm really happy to be back. I mean, I, I love going to the stadium, but uh, February is just not, not quite it. It's not quite it. My part. But. Going back to the, the cup round, we have a draw and here it is. Leon play rapid. Okay, at least they have a home game and they have a decent chance because that was the one opponent where they made make it to the final and then we have the big one. Salzburg against Sturm. Uh, so basically the game we saw this Friday was already a preview for that. I'd rather would have had it the other way around just for a little bit more fairness. But yeah, um, Salzburg against the Open final. Mm, Salzburg is cruising to another cup title uh, the way this draw is working. Uh, just a side show, um, a side note. Uh, the last time Rapid won the cup, they beat Leoben in the final. Just note that. So. Having talked about Salzburg Sturm, we had Salzburg Sturm already and it ended in a 1-1 one, one draw, but this draw was not reflective of the game at all. This was a game that Salzburg had completely in the bag. The only thing that Salzburg didn't do is score the second or the third or the fourth goal. I mean, if this ends 2 or 3 nil or 3-1 for Salzburg, no one would complain about it. Honestly, they had more chances. Sturm, especially the first half, was non-existent. They could not handle Salzburg. Uh, and Salzburg took the lead through Radkov after Kia got corner, corner. Free header, um, you know, not the assignments, not were working. And then there were a bunch of other chances that Salzburg could, could have taken. Uh, Sturm then make the change to get a little bit more stability, make a double six and, and so on. The game was then a little bit more open. But again, the only thing I can tell that Salzburg did not do well is convert their chances. And I was for Sturm in this game to make it a little bit more exciting in the league. And although I was hoping for a draw, which in the end we got. Because out of nowhere, Kittisch will head for in. Because he also, the assignment is, is missed and it ends 1-1 one, one with... I think it was the first shot and goal for Stuart Sturm Graz. Really weird game. Really weird game. Um, I think no one is gonna bother with that one too much. It's still two points between those two, which if it gets all cut down in half, it's one point. Not much changes and Sturm Graz still have half, not lost. And I mean, uh, there's an ar ar argument to be made that I said, uh, this might be the one chance for Sturm Graz to win this championship because of course all their coaches and players, people will want to grab them. So this might be the last time in this form that they get it. Let's see about that. But then on the other side, Salzburg have been making a virtue out of this. But with this draw, you really thought that, yeah, maybe Lusk, you win this one, you're getting a touching distance again. Did not work out in the end. Uh, probably the least interesting game, because it was basically battle for uh, spot 9, was between Altach and Blauweiß Linz. Uh, Altach, the better team, creating more chances and still they find themselves down because there was a semi contentious penalty given that Ronnie Waldo on his return, he got uh, injured just in December, uh, was very quickly back and he puts it into the net. Uh, Altach then do their best to get an equalizer, have a Conor Noss. 
seemingly made it 2-0 in the 88th minute and settled the game for Blau Weiss, however it was an offside and then Jäger, would, uh, after what Rogo uh, assist, equalizes then shortly thereafter and Alter get at least something out of the game, a game they probably should have won as well, which is kind of a story on this weekend. Uh, Austria against Hartberg was a really entertaining first half. Uh, where uh, Maxi Entrup, who is kind of the, um, I would say, the surprise player of the season, uh, scores an early goal for Hartberg. However, then um, Kretzik, who is on loan from Bayern, Bayern Munich, assists Hus Huskwich a little bit later, and it's 1-1. It's, uh, you know, uh, defending not all the game, blah, 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 but it was going up, up and down. Then there were many, many chances on, uh, many, many, many. You know, it was an up and down game that uh, kind of slowed down a little bit towards the end of the first half, but they're definitely entertaining. Starting second half, Fitz and Vucic, 51st and 55th, settled the game. There was no um, storm coming from Hartberg, so it ends with a 3-1 win for Austria Wien. Uh, lifeline for, for them. I mean, they're still outsiders of making it into the top six, uh, but they have a chance. Let's put it that way. They have a good chance now, and we'll have to see. Uh, they also have a very interesting uh, record at the moment. Six wins, six draws, six losses after 18 games. Talk about rather mid-table, but probably not uh, not enough, potentially. Um, Lucena under new coach with Andy Heraf, uh, who it, one of the weirdest things is that both the, they got the coach from Bregenz and then the Lucena coach went to Bregenz. Uh, Andy Heraf, uh, not a great coach, honestly, and having uh, quite some, uh, how to say, not so nice things on his CV as well. What he did is, we have to be defensively sound. And that's exactly what they did. I mean, Tirol at times had 80% of the ball, but just could not break down. And then Grujic takes the first chance in 7th and 4th, and late on, Cissé makes it 2-0. It's a huge win. This is the first win of the season for Lustena. It's the first win of the season. They're still five points behind Tirol. But again, uh, this relegation round, points are halved. And then five points get into... Three, two points. I think it's uh, they round down. So uh, let, let's say six. Um, uh, so it's half. We will uh, lose them. We have three points. Tirol eleven. That's five points. So you're within three points. My, you might give yourself a shot this, this way. Still, Lucena in this form very much odds on to get relegated. But again, you just need to make it into this playoff round with not too big of a gap. And you might as well survive. Altach did this just a couple of seasons ago. So yeah, uh, let's see where, they, where, where, where this will go. Tirol definitely will rule this one. But again, it's more about what you do come at the start of the playoffs. Uh, uh, Wolfsburg against Rapid was another one of those six pointers uh, where definitely you could steer yourself into the top six and that's what Rapid win, uh, did with a 2-0 win. A uh, game that was heavily conditioned by a uh, bad pitch, uh, you know, in Canton and up on the hill. February, as I said, it's not made. Fe February in Austria is not made for soccer, unfortunately. Uh, we had this already the bad pitch in the cup at Leom, and now here similarly. Uh, Rapid get an early penalty through Grö. Uh, then the game is relatively open. It has, as we said, walls for creating chances. It's just that Rapid a little bit more ef efficient in Majulo after the Grö assist. Grö, who is going to Werder, Werder Bremen after, after the season. Uh, gives a tunnel for a rapid win and they get the win. Huge win for them because that now puts them fairly in control of finishing in the top six and you know where they actually would think that they belong. Honestly, with all the means that have rapid would belong much higher, but the way this the season is going again will be one of those that will not be fondly remembered by anyone. At least that's what I'm thinking at the moment. Let's see where this goes. And then we had the little matter of us going to the stadium to watch Lask play Klagenfurt. Uh, I said it in my uh, preview video for uh, this uh, game of where I talk about Austria Klagenfurt. Lask 
In this iteration of Arthur Clarke, what they have never lost to them. However, there was also another thing. I mean, that is usually, usually or, or, or saying, ah, yeah, this might be that the first time might might be coming. But another thing that uh, kind of I did not mention is the records of Lusk and Klagenfurt are not that dissimilar. Lusk have nine wins, six draws, three losses now. And Klagenfurt have six wins, nine uh, draws and three losses. They are the uh, draw kings of the league. They are really, really hard to break down. They have only three losses so far. Uh, and that I thought that draw will probably be the result that we will get. But the way it happened, I have to say, well, Lusk will have created many chances and right on the get-go, uh, Klagfurt had a good one. I mean, they really worked Lusk on, 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 the, on the transition and you could say that Tia is uh, very, very quickly uh, not being available. Uh, in defense was probably not the good, good thing. Um, so there were some transition moments, but overall Lusk actually created the, uh, really nice chances. It's just that the last pass was off of off, off missing. And, and it was really, they run to the last line of Klangford, they lob, lob it over, no, no, no side, a run to the um, uh, goal line and then push, pull the ball back. There were quite a few chances like this. Where just you could not connect in the end. I mean, there was one where Schul took the ball away from Stoiker, which would have a free shot on goal. But it also has, as I said, that Klagfurt had quite a few chances themselves, especially in the first half, one hitting the outside of the post, and did it actually quite well. I still feel the Lusk had a little bit more of the game, but Klagfurt were they in dangerous? They have a few quite dangerous players up front. Uh, just when the game settled down a little bit, the goal came. It was a nice one. Uh, Andrade playing it to Jules, back to Andrade, down to the touchline, and he puts it back. Jules makes it 1-0. 31st minute, and I thought, this now settles the game. This opened the game back up. Yeah, and then you lose the ball in the build, in, in the build of play. Uh, Binder uh, plays to Carvina, and yeah, Laval comes out to um, cut down the angle. But Kavkavana is has great skill, gets the equalizer. Uh, was a little bit gut gutting, and then Lask actually created a few chances. I mean, Ljubicic himself, uh, he was a master of missing it. And there was a four-on-one counterattack with Sasha Horvath. Honestly, he has three players against one who needs to defend. All you need to do, you keep running, 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 and you take a shot, and you take the shot. Because the defender doesn't know what to do. But what, what happens if he plays the ball to, Liu, to Ljubicic, who is offside. And it's even more galling because in the press conference ahead of the game, uh, Coach Saga said, I really would like to take my players sometimes the chance that they take a shot and not carry the ball into the goal, which is the one thing that you have to say. I mean, it's really nice the way, the way they play, but sometimes I really wish they would just yank it. And I love Horvat, but this is something that I've seen uh, happen with him over and over again this, this season. Where he's running for clear goal. He, he's running on goal. Yes, he has, has a defender. But if you take a good shot, and I, I'm sure he has, you can put it on goal. And no one would say anything. So yeah, it's 1-1 one, one at the half. Second half, it's all Lusk. They said we will be defensively sound. It's all Lusk. Uh, you miss one chance through Schul, you score a goal through Schul, where Uso gets the ball, runs on goal, there's a tackle and the ball falls here on his hand, and the goal is disallowed. Um, the way that the hand was, I think this would have gone, but I understand that in the build-up to a goal you don't want to have a hand ball, and I guess this, this is why I a game. So, you had to accept it. Uh, what was really hard to accept is that... The only time that Klangfurt, and this was Klangfurt was playing to our side, and the only time that Klangfurt came to our goal, um, Andrade brings down the attacker. Probably could have been a red, to be honest. It's a free kick, and Svetko takes it beautifully, and it's 2 1. But it's the only chance of the entire second half. And I'm thinking, oh no, now we're, we're losing to Klangfurt, a game that we never had business losing. Yes, in stoppage time, Jules gets an e equalizer, so I guess it's all right, but overall it felt a little bit like two lost points. But then again, I think Klangfurt needed those lost points. They take it, uh, they will definitely take these points. 
I, I because in the fight of top six they are still now level with Rapid. I think this serves them quite well and for Lusk it also yes he could have gotten closer. But in the end, does it really matter all that much now the points get half? Again, you need to get hot in the second half of the season and that's where I think it will go. I think uh, Lask is steering at a very, very safe third place finish in the end. Overall, uh, if you look now at the uh, games for the next, uh, overall this doesn't make sense, next round, um, it all points to the last one, Sturm against Rapid. Lask, after facing their favorite op opponent, now they have to go to their least favorite opponent in Hardback, so I'm not looking forward to that that game. Uh, if you look top six, uh, fight Austria, home game against, against Alltag is a must win. Uh, I'm actually thinking, Aaron, should I go to... Nah, I, I'm not going to a fair favorite game, well, although it would be nice to watch blow against Sals, Sals, Salzburg. I, I want to see the new stadium one time. Um, also, kind of an underappreciated one is probably Wolfsburg against Tirol Klagenfurt. I think they will beat Lust Lusten in the Austria duel, but let's see about that. In any case, that was my thoughts on the Bundesliga on the first round back, round 18. Four more rounds to go in the uh, regular season, if, if, if you like, and then we'll go into the international break. In any case, let, let me know what you thought about, about this round. If you saw anything from, from it or if any questions, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!